thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again. But he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. Surely you know what I mean, Revan. Look at what the Council did to you. They turned you into their puppet. The same thing they do to all who are truly strong in the Force. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. You used to be Revan, master of the Sith, but no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve, like I was, until Malak freed me from their shackles. I pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even, but that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. Stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side has not lost to you after all, Revan. Yes, Revan. I was there when you almost died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. The Council tried to exploit our bond. They hoped your memories would lead me to the Star Forge. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also tasted the power of the taint within you. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power... Your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. It is your power that will keep me as your loyal apprentice, Revan. I swore allegiance to Malak only because I thought you'd lost the power you once wielded. But you have proven yourself in our battle. I see you possess the strength to destroy Malak and reclaim the mantle of Dark Lord. Now I see you will make a worthy Sith Master. Listen to me. The dark side leads to death and destruction. I've seen the horrors the Sith have unleashed on the galaxy. Turn away from this path! Shut up, old man. Your time is over. The age of the Jedi and the Republic is no more. This is the age of Darth Revan and the Sith. Don't do this, kid. I don't want to, but I'll fight you if I have to, even if it costs me my life.
A true Jedi would never bow down to the Sith. If this is your decision, I have no choice but to do battle against you. Kill her. Rend her flesh. Show her the fate of all who dare stand against us. Embrace the power of the dark side. Yes, the sacrificial blood will consecrate this ancient temple in the name of the Sith. With the death of the Jedi, the rebirth of Darth Revan will be complete. This again! Also use it to disable the disruptor field that protects the Starforge. Otherwise, the Ebon Hawk will not be able to leave the planet without crashing. Yes? With each passing moment, your old apprentice becomes stronger, Master. We must act quickly to exact your vengeance. Malak will pay for stealing the mantle of the Dark Lord from you.
Vasily, you're alive. I was worried about you. For a minute there, I, I was sure that we'd never see you again once Malik got his... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where are Juhani and Jolie been, though? Are they okay? What happened inside that temple? What? Wait, what are you talking about? The Jedi Council has failed, Karth. Darth Revan has been reborn. Together, we will destroy Malak and seize control of his fleet. Then use it to crush the Republic. Jahani and Jo Lee would not swear loyalty to the new ruler of the Sith. They died for their foolishness. Now swear loyalty to Darth Revan, or face your own death. Wait, what? No. We serve the Republic. You are no better than Malak. We'll never swear allegiance to one who serves the dark side. Wait, Lord Revan. Karth speaks only for himself. He does not speak for the others. He may find he stands alone here. The droids will continue to serve you, Revan. They are programmed to obey their master. And there may be others who will choose to join us. The Republic is doomed. Revan has returned. Who will now swear loyalty to the second coming of the Dark Lord? You're Revan, and I'll follow you anywhere. It doesn't matter who you're fighting against, I'll be at your side. Mandalorians don't have any great love for the Republic anyway. Light side, dark side, it doesn't make any difference to me, Revan. I'll stick by you no matter what comes. I saw what the Sith did to Terrace. Anyone who serves the dark side is evil. Big Z and I are with Karth on this one. Salbar, Revan's a Sith, just like Malak. It's not betrayal if you break your life dead now. No, Salbar, I don't care. I won't help the Sith against the Republic. Not for anything. Not even for you. You don't have to help the Sith mission. Not while I'm here. I see now it was a mistake to let you go into that temple. And I, of all people, should have seen this coming. First saw Karath, and now you. Then I should be an expert on betrayal by now. But with nothing you can say or do can make me betray the Republic. I won't join you, and I won't just stand aside and let you become ruler of the Sith again, Revan. Run for admission! Go! Go! Let him go. We have more important things to worry about. We have to get to the Starforge and kill Malak. Then we can turn our attention to the Republic. No! This isn't happening! It can't be happening! as Malak ever was. Quickly now, we have to get to the Starforge and destroy the Usurper. 